go back to the mid-1930s. And many of the residents over the hill were by then generally literate, even if not very rare. There were still only three primary schools in the entire area. And, but, and all but one of these were then operated by churches. Woodcock School, which later became Western Prep number two in Hospital Lane South, and St. Agnes Day School, known as Copperbread School, at Market and Lewis Streets, were both operated by the Anglicans. And our later school, Further south on Yonk Street was operated by the Roman Catholic Church, which also catered to children from over the hill at its other day school on the grounds of St. Francis on West and Delancey Street, which of course was on the hilltop. The only public school over the hill operated by the government was the Quarry Mission School or Western Preparatory School on Nassau Street. The two other government schools which accommodated children from over the hill were Smith School, or Western Junior, and Central School, or Western Senior, as a, as a successor to the Boy Central School. Apart from being the business and civic hub of the islands, the town of Nassau was also the residential area of the white and mulatto population, as well as a middle class minority comprising the racially mixed. And most of them were then affluent colored uh, uh, members of the population. As the population grew, these city dwellers correspondingly extended their residences eastwards and westwards from the city limits, along or near the northern water waterfront of the island, but never southwards over the hill ridge. No, never over the hill. Several distinct and clearly defined neighborhoods of the mass of the black population also expanded as their numbers increased. They expanded into areas outside the original over the hill neighborhoods in what, in what became known as the new subdivisions. In my boyhood days, the different townships of the island were Brunstown, Baintown, Angliston, Conterbutter, and for the youngsters I should explain that Conterbutter is a small area situated between West and Augusta Streets and bounded on the north by Wilkinson Street, which is just to the bottom of the hill, and going south down to about Dean's Lane. Delancey Town, Chippingham, Mason's Edition, Fort Finn Castle, Freetown, The Pond, The White Ground, Poitiers, Okra Hill, Camp Road, CB No More, Conger Town, Fox Hill, and Sanderlands, Sanderlands Village, Headquarters, or otherwise known as today as Carmichael, Gambier, Delaport, and Adelaide Village. These all became the new, newly defined neighborhoods after Brownstown and Baintown got too big, too crowded. All the well-known newer subdivisions of today were later developments of the 1940s and 1950s, such as Coconut Grove, Shirley Heights, Colmersville, 
Sears Edition, Centerville, Westwood Villas, Greater Chittingham, which is the area just south of Chittingham, Seabreeze Estates, Pinedale, Nassau Village, and Pinewood Gardens. Of the many villages, settlements, and towns, those concentrated in the central section of the island, south of the ridge on which Mount Fitzwilliam was located, collectively comprised the geographical area known and always referred to as Over the Hill. So that Over the Hill was a geographic description, but it was also a culture, a concept, an identity, a heritage and a way of life. Over the hill was the area to which the majority of the population returned at the end of the work day because the majority of the population lived over the hill. They returned to their homes and to their recreation and to their retirement for the rest of the day. So it was the location, it became the location of their churches, <coughs> their bars and rum shops, or bar rooms as they were called, their petty shops, their lodge halls, and most significantly, their cotton trees. Huge silk cotton trees lined, lined the side of the main roads leading from the Northern Hill Range southwards to the coconut grove and to the big pond. So that in Grantstown, as one proceeded southwards from the southern recreation grounds at the foot of the hill, there were not less than seven or eight such giant landmarks standing as silent settlements at regular intervals down the eastern side of the two main roads. Sadly, the only silk cotton tree remaining along Blue Hill Road today stands at the corner of Coburn Street, just outside St. Agnes Church. There used to be a popular one, a regular rendezvous, just in front of the Biltmore shop. Now, the Biltmore shop, it was a landmark on, a, on the corner of Blue Hill Road and Cameron Street, just south of Lewis Street, which is just south of St. Agnes Church. And the Billmore shop was a general store owned by Mrs. Miller Francis Thompson, also known as Titta, who was one of the most, one of the more affluent women of substance of Grand Staff. Indeed, Mrs. Miller Thompson, Mrs. Letitia Curry of Hay Street, Letitia Curry would be the grandmother of the recent deceased Prime Minister of St. Francis. And Mrs. Lee Lang of Market Street were the only three ladies over the hill who owned a motor car in that area, and they were chauffeur-driven. <laughs> in a sense, it is a great pity that these majestic cotton trees towering over Blue Hill Road, Market Street, with one or two on Hospital Lane and West Street, had to be taken down for road widening in later years. 